Hey guys, welcome back to the video on my channel. I know it's been a while. I haven't posted a video in like two months. I apologize for that. I have been working really hard on some um, not Heartland related projects and I apologize for my lack of videos on this channel. Don't worry, I'm still very much a fan of Heartland and I have been watching Heartland season 17 every week on Sunday as it premieres on CBC and CBC Gem. But as now we are just two episodes away from the finale of season 17, it is now time to talk about season 18 because the question on everyone's mind is well if you're like me anyway is is season 17 the last season of heartland or will there be a heartland season 18 and as you guys might have guessed by the title of this video that is what we're gonna, that is what we're going to be discussing in today's video also please ignore the fact that i'm having to fix my glasses every 30 seconds they're literally like broken and i haven't had the chance to go to the store to get them fixed and tightened so i apologize for that they're literally falling off my face and trust me it is the most annoying thing ever so when it comes to the future of heartland is there going to be a heartland season 18. i'm fairly confident in a season 18 and i will explain why in this video however before i continue i need to remind you guys to please leave a like on the video if you enjoy and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for all the updates regarding heartland season 18. so when it comes to heartland and season 18 the reason i'm so confident that there's going to be a heartland season 18 is because Actually, in all honesty, guys, it's the same reason that I was confident in a season 17. It's the same reason I was confident in a season 16. It's because season 17, which is the current season of Heartland, has not been marketed as the final season of Heartland. And Heartland has now had 250 plus episodes. Do you not think that when Heartland finally comes to an end, whenever that may be, whether it's in 2025, 2030, or 2035, you guys, do you guys not think that we're gonna know? Like, do you not think that CBC, if they're smart, are gonna market it as, hey, it's the final season of Heartland, Come find out how we're wrapping up this story that has been on air since 2008. And that's all I have for this video. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, that that is the biggest reason I think there's going to be a Heartland Season 18. is because I'm really, really confident that when Heartland is... When we're getting ready to watch the final season of Heartland, CBC, and the rest of the Heartland cast... And the Heartland crew and the Heartland writers are going to make a big deal about it. Because, guys, this show has been going on for so long that I don't think they're just going to be like, Yeah, by the way, this is the final season. Enjoy! That would be really stupid. And I think that from a marketing perspective, that would be really dumb for CBC to do. Also, besides that, season 17, if you're watching, I'm going to be honest with you and say that Season 17 has been a slow season, which is also why I haven't felt so bad in not making videos about it. Because nothing, nothing is really happening from episode to episode that is like, oh my gosh, I need to talk about it and I need to talk about it now. Season 17 feels more like the older seasons of Heartland, which I like. I do. I... And I think I speak for a lot of Heartland fans when I say that the main reason we all tuned in to watch Heartland in the first place was, well, for 50% of you, it was for Amy and Ty um, and their love story. So um, there's that. But also the other 50% tuned in because of Amy and her working with horses. And also just Amber Marshall's fantastic uh, performance as Amy throughout the seasons. But season 17 feels more like the earlier seasons of Heartland. There's less dramatic stuff happening, and it's more of just the Heartland family and Amy and Lindy and all of that just living on the ranch. And I think that is what made people fall in love with Heartland in the first place. And all the storylines that we're seeing in Season 17, I'm being really vague because I don't want to spoil anything in case you haven't seen Season 17 yet. But all the storylines in Season 17 don't really feel like they're wrapping up the character story at all in any way for any of the characters. Minus maybe one, which I'm going to make a whole other video on it. If you're watching season 17, you know exactly the character I'm talking about. However, for the rest of the characters, it doesn't feel like an ending. It feels like, 
okay, let's move into the next chapter now, especially when it comes to Amy. And with Amy being the main character, I think that's also a very, very good sign that there's going to be a Heartland season 18 because Amy's the main character. If they're running out of stories for Amy, that's a problem. And I don't think they are going off of what we're seeing in season 17 so far. And considering there's only two episodes left, I think that um, there are plenty of more stories for Amy, specifically uh, when it comes to a new possible relationship in the upcoming seasons of Heartland, which of course, I mean, that, that opens up a ton of new possible storyline ideas for Amy and for the writers to work with and run with and create new storylines. So that is all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.